Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next base destruction video. This is a Town Hall 10 video, and we're taking a look at three attacks today. The first one being a Town Hall 9 scout, the next two being Town Hall 10 attacks. Talking about the progression to get to the three star in this base. We'll talk about kind of the weaknesses of this space and how those we use to get the three star. Because you can see this space isn't the anti three star base that. We often see now as I guess you could say the meta for the high level wars. This base has the four air defenses in standard locations with the infernos in the middle. This might be something that you guys who are not quite in that top bubble as some people have put it. You guys might see this more and even in top wars we see this a lot. Uh, K uh, this is KC Chiefs, good clan, close war and these bases can be successful and difficult but there's certain ways you can take them out so we're going to go ahead and just take a look at the scout that should provide a pretty good baseline for the attack on this base because really i don't show that many town hall 9 scouting town hall 10s on this channel because it's just not something that's really useful but it is a part of war and it is uh, at least to some extent a good thing for your Town Hall 9s to be good at because as Town Hall 9 gets easier especially we're going to see more scouts and them playing a bigger role. Uh, scouts mainly good for the Town Hall 10s to take a look see what um, what the base has going where the defenses are or where the traps are with the CC troops are and a better chance for the fresh three star. So taking a look at this base uh, Red Rum is just going to do the plan. That's how it works. The Town Hall 10 tells the Town Hall 9 what plan they're thinking about and then the Town Hall 9 just executes that plan with their Town Hall 9 level troops and also tries to get the two star just in case things don't work out but the main thing is scouting the plan and you can see right here he comes in with his heroes uh, to test out what's in that area there's two teslas also i don't think he drew out the cc troops um no he did not so the cc troops are still kind of unknown which is not the best uh, but he can tell i guess there's no air targeting cc troops which you can kind of de deduce it's going to be a lava hound in a balloon probably uh, otherwise, it might be a golem, but it, it's you, you can say for a pretty certainty that it's going to be a lava hound balloon. There's no other combination that takes up all 35 troop space and uh, doesn't have any air targeting defenses. So really, what he's doing is he's testing that initial push with the heroes, uh, which the next attacker is going to try with their uh, town hall 10 level stuff. Try to get the air defense, the inferno, and the queen. And then he does the Laloon around the rest of the base. Of course, not going to get nearly as much stuff taken out. But he identifies where the Skelly Traps are. He gets some of those Seeking Air Mines tested out. And he gets the Teslas where they are. So all good data for the next attacker. Now, he did get the Town Hall taken out. We'll fast forward. He does also try to get that 50%, which he doesn't get. But really, it doesn't matter that much because the Town Hall 10, even if they fail, they'll definitely get a probably a high percentage 2-star especially with the town hall being right there uh, for the initial push. So not that big of a deal that he doesn't get the two star. The main thing is the base has been scouted. Let's go ahead and back out and go to the uh, first attack on this base. We are looking at number 10. Uh, this is, I don't know how to say that name, but his second attack here and he is doing the plan that we, we previously saw. Go ahead and fast forward to the start here. Right here drops down the minion on the camp, the baby dragon. Uh, basically, this is a good idea. If you look at this base, the inferno, the air defense, the queen, all very accessible um, with that one little push. Doesn't want to invest too much because this is a compact base. And when you have a compact ba base like this, typically less invasive kill squads are better. The sending in too much is just going to not get you as much for the extra 30 troop space or however much you put into it so really a, a minimal kill squad is best especially when you can get those three essential things the air defense the queen and the inferno they're all right there the thing is though he doesn't quite break that funnel enough on the left side there's that builder's hut that the queen can easily uh be aggroed by right here she leaves the base goes out uh, locks onto that and from there it's pretty much over the inferno still up the queen still up that's going to be too much for him to deal with but at this point if you are a town hall 10 and this does happen you know there is the outside chance you might get lucky but probably not with everything that's left up on this base you still want to go through with the plan see if it's a good idea this is like a scout 2.0 
you have the higher level troops, you can see how successful it's going to be. Of course, things are just going to have that butterfly effect and probably go bad for you with the infernal still up, the queen still up. It's going to look a lot worse than it might be if the initial part was successful, but he can still get a pretty good scout for the next attacker, uh, see exactly how things are going to work out with that those levels of troops. And you can see his stuff obviously goes down very quickly, but the idea is solid enough for the next attacker to try it out. So as soon as this one ends here, we'll go ahead and go times two, because he's just going through the motions at this point, trying to get high percentage, of course, to uh, you know ensure that if this base doesn't get three-starred, the percentage at least is somewhat solid on it. So he drops those minions around the outside, and basically lets the next attacker have a go at it so we'll go ahead and fast forward to the end here i believe it's about 80 ish percent when everything's said and done when those three minutes are up so nice try there but couldn't quite get it with the kill squad had to break that funnel a little bit better let's take a look at how this base was three star because the plan initially was good and um what base was it? It was eight, yeah. Uh, NG, whatever his name is, um, actually had his own three-star on a Town Hall 10, much lower level, uh, but still a nice uh, three-star there. Helped with the war for sure. Good job to Genesis getting the win here by a pretty comfortable margin. Um, but taking a look at this three-star, it's Dow. Um, so many names are questionable in our clan, it seems like, and I, I don't know how to say them. My bad, guys. Uh, but anyway, with the three-star here, same plan, you can see drops the king down. The king is just to clear things out. The king doesn't always need a huge roll. Um, sometimes it's a good idea to save that troop space that would otherwise be used in like a baby dragon or some wizards to funnel. Just drop the king down. This way the golem doesn't take a ton of punishment because there's so many defenses right there. If he drops down the golem, then tries to create the funnel, the golem's going to be in some huge trouble by the time the queen actually goes into that compartment. But this way, um, especially with that wizard, nice touch on the wizard there to help out, he ensures that he gets good value the entire time this golem's tanking. The king gets a very nice funnel cleared out. He drops the baby dragon a little farther to the left, which takes out all those extra buildings, allows the queen to step up because the plan was good. The inferno is the next thing for her. I like the early ability. Needs to make sure he gets the queen and the inferno taken out before she locks on to that um, lava hound because after that happens the queen's out of the picture which is fine uh, the cc troops aren't going to be an issue for him he has the uh, pretty much all air from here on out goes ahead and drops in the first two hounds uh, that first one gets destroyed of course but the next one is able to tank pretty well for the uh, for the balloons as they come through great heal spell for the teslas for the expos uh, the sweeper very high uh, DPS area, high DPS zone for the balloons, so that heal keeps them up through that area, then has the freeze that not only gets the inferno, but also gets the skelly traps. I think it almost got that air defensive. Actually, it might have. I kind of missed that. But the air defense was freezable. It's close enough to the inferno that it can be frozen. Then finally drops in the skelly spell. A poison might have been better, but I think he got the traps taken out either way the skelly traps can be an issue and having that poison does help but in this case he got them taken out just fine and the uh, skelly spells do help a little bit i'm not sure what the skelly spells were for but just had them at the end for those expos i guess and that's pretty much it you can see draws that lava hound to the left side with an archer that's a nice touch that's kind of underrated not many people talk about it but if you're going to do some kind of thing with your heroes that has the Lava Hound coming out, you want to have that archer to bring it to the side. That way you can ensure that your pups and your minions aren't going to destroy the Lava Hound and um, generate all those extra Lava Pups that can be a nuisance to deal with. Um, it also takes up a ton of time to, to for them to eat through the Lava Hound anyway. Just not a good situation, so draw it to the side if you can with an archer. That way it stays out of range and out of mind of all the minions and the lava pups and stuff. Makes it much quicker and more efficient for your cleanup. Can be the difference between a three star. So bring that archer if you think the lava hound will be sitting there. Because uh, you don't want it sitting in the middle of the base for the for your troops to get caught up on. But anyway, that'll do it for this video. Just a small adjustment. Got the three star. Very nice attack there. Hope you guys liked the video. Wanted to put some Town Hall 10 stuff out for you guys today. And of course, I will be, um, I think I'm going to record some live attacks. Actually, I already 
I'm pretty much in the process of doing it. I'll have a live uh, on War Day video coming out because I had to take down the last one due to the request of a clan. So you guys will um, be able to see uh, for more than just like 12 hours a, a round of live action from the war that Genesis is currently in. So we'll be looking forward to that. And uh, that'll do it for this video though. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, Sectatron out.